Certainly worth the extra mile. the clan, the more devastating the fall. Broken into pieces and not a single soul around. This must be the way things ended. Come on, let's get moving. Time to go. Master, we're the only servants left. Are you sure about this? After we're gone, who's going to... Don't worry. I'll be fine. Your mother died early, and now that your father has left you, you're all that remains of this clan now. And I suppose that this is the last time we will ever see each other. Master, please take care of yourself. Everyone, on board! Farewell. Kaidahara clan has ultimately disbanded in my hands. But as my father said, I should not let life imprison me. Perhaps living the wanderer's life is what was meant for me after all. You know, they say that visions represent the Archon's gaze. Hmm. But is being under an Archon's gaze really a blessing? I don't know. Maybe? I have traveled far and wide in Inazuma since Lee. I have traveled. Vision Hunt Decree! Hand over your visions now! 
This way. Hurry. Time to go. Very well why people resist against the Vision Hunt decree. Ambition is our power in its rawest form. We cannot live without it. Go. When no other option remains, I will leave. The Almighty Shogun is holding a duel before the throne. Unauthorized personnel are strictly forbidden from coming near. Wait, the kid has a vision? Get him! Don't let him get away!
Life of a wanderer is full of hardships. I have asked myself these questions many times. Should I go? If so, where to? And by what means? It's my lucky day! Burst forth! Ah. This is my great undertaking! Stabilize! Order guide you! Into the wind! Sacrifice oh, away! Fallen leaves! Adorn my knight! The wind knows me. Time to go. Solidify. I'll protect us. <laughs> One with nature. <laughs> Come into be. You win. Kadahara, that's you, right? Get on board, I'll get you out. But why are you helping me? I'm a wanted fugitive. Obviously the Yashiroka... <clears throat> An anonymous financial sponsor wants you to get out safely. But there's only so much they can do. After this, you'll be on your own. My grandfather once traveled to Liwe. While my father read about Mondstadt... But... where is the right place for me? The sky's getting dark. It looks like it's going to rain. Will the rain ever stop? Stop! I'm warning you! Do not attempt to resist! <laughs> oh, really? Feel this ancient power! Into the wind! Clouds high! The birds come! Run with nature! Train hard! Get the Quick! Order guide you! I won't! Gather! I won't forget this! Burst forth! As one with wind and cloud! Teach me your lesson! Into the wind! I will have order. I must withdraw. This moment of Watch birth. Watch your step. 
Let's dance. Huh? Burst for it. I need you. Hey, buddy. You okay? Need a ride or something? <laughs> Pirates. <laughs> you could call us that. So, you coming or not? over there. Kazuha! We found you! Ah, good timing. I was just reflecting on my life so far, and I think I'm all up to date. So, what do you think of the Kaidahara clan's bonsai? Old things often carry around some form of regret. The Kaidahara clan is no exception. But that's okay. Partings produce reunions. If not at home, then in a distant land. Oh, this mirage is quite fascinating. It presents life like a stage play, with each scene more captivating than the last. They say that astrologists have seen it all. So if this mirage intrigued you, that says it was a worthwhile encounter. <clears throat> How fares thy mood? Main Fräulein inquires as to your present well-being, Lord Kazuha, hoping your heart is not too filled with sorrow. There's no way anyone could be cheerful after reliving all that! <laughs> you have a point. Thank you all for your concern. Fortunately, all those things are past and gone now. When I first saw this bonsai, I thought of the possibility that I needed to wait for you. Perhaps that was why I had to be here on my own. Have you finished doing what you wanted to do, Kazuha? Yes, you could say that. You saw my past self and said goodbye to him. Only when you witness my whole story does it become truly consigned to history. What really matters in life is not how strict we are with ourselves but the connections we make along the way. There's no future for those who linger on the past. So please believe me when I say that I've already come a long way, and I intend to go further still. I will always treasure your support. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. Everyone must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. Hmm? <laughs> Main Fräulein, are you alright? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Uh, yes, Main Fräulein. Hmm. I'll see if I can find something for us to eat. 
Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's volunteering to help! Maybe we should too! <laughs> Whoa, hey! <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but, uh... Her highness looks kind of gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. All right, we'll prepare the food. Yep, this should be enough. We can grill these. Next time we pass by one of those abandoned campsites, I'll see if they have a cooking pot. We'd have some more variety then. Wow! That's such a nice idea! You might not be a chef, Shenyan, but you sure do know how to keep the diners happy! Oh, shucks, Paimon. It's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shenyan someone they can rely on. We feel the same way about you too, Kazuha! <laughs> we sure do! Hmm... Well, then, as a trusted friend, I have something I'd like to talk about. From what you've been saying, that miraculous mirage seems to have been based on my life story to date. It felt just like a dream to me. In other words, you've always wanted to make your own bonsai? Could that be it? All that was a means of granting me something I wished for? And since this happened to me, does that mean it could happen to everyone else, too? I agree. But I wonder whose mirage we'll encounter next. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to my own mirage, if it's a dream come true like you say. Wait! You actually want something like this to happen with you, too? Oh, heck. Any mirage to do with me would probably be music-related. <laughs> It'd be a good chance to showcase a few tunes. You mean you'd want to do a performance in there? <laughs> Why not? I don't think any self-respecting musician could stay silent on these islands. Just look at this place. So much confidence and optimism! Shenyan rocks! Oh, um... Paimon wants to try some of the fruit growing on that cliff over there. <laughs> Let's go pick some. Today, huh? And uh, a mirage bonsai? Oh, basically, lots of weird stuff today. Um, do you think we should tell Venti about it? There's no answer. That's weird. Why is he ignoring us? Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. Hmm. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Traveler, Paimon. So here you are. Mona! <laughs> are you all done chatting with Fischl? <laughs> Close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Why? It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys! I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My scryglass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. 
I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Uh, oh, I know. It's like we're uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So you want to find where that crack is, right? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. <sighs> it seems like similar things happen every time I'm with you. I'll attempt divination, read the signs, zero in on the target, then solve the problem. You're surrounded by all kinds of friends, secrets, and destinies. It's incredible. No, you are incredible! You helped Fischl and us solve that Leonard situation! All things considered, I suppose. Let's hope we can all stick together and resolve this, like we did last time. When you say together, do you mean the two of you? Or all three of us? <laughs> okay, okay, the three of us then. Sometimes Paimon offers an insightful perspective that can be very helpful to me. Really? Aww, Paimon's starting to like you a lot, genius astrologist Mona! Yes, that's the perspective I'm talking about. You'll never meet another astrologist as clever and charming as me. <laughs> yeah! Everything about you is great, except for, um, please don't laugh like Fischl again, ever. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Friends' habits rub off on you when you spend a lot of time together, don't they? <laughs> uh. I'll keep observing the stars. Keep in touch, Traveler.